was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Amen. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Amen. To Red Light Christian Church. Virtual morning worship service. Amen. For this day of October 4, 2020. We are here. We are excited. Amen. We are looking for a move of God today. And so we welcome you, invite you in, and we ask you like we always do. Go ahead and hit the share button. Share this live. Amen. And Start a watch party uh, if you would like, so that your friends and your family can join us in worship here today. Amen. So we're going to go forth in service, and we're going to ask Minister Larry to we'll come and give us our opening prayer. And then following opening prayer, we'll have a praise team to come, and we're just going to sing a few songs of worship, and then we'll go into the Word of God. Hallelujah. Thank you. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good to see your faces this morning. Amen. You know, the Bible says two or three of us coming up. It don't take two or three. But say one on a thousand, two on ten thousand. So he's been in here this morning. We, we can catch some things this morning. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Let us stand for the purpose of the Lord this morning. Thank you, God, for praying and giving us glory and honor him today. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Come, Father, we just come to right now in the name of you, Father. We just come boldly for your Lord and grace, Father. We are thanking God for this day that you have made. We just come rejoice and be glad in it. Holy Spirit, we welcome you in this house today. Have your way in this place today. So you are the healer. You are our, 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 our everything right now. We give you the glory. We give you the praise. Hallelujah. What's up, we are thanking right now, Father, that you, Father, come to for your throne with us, Father, to worship you, Father. We thank you for this opportunity to be in the house of God this morning. We thank you right now, Father. We give you all the glory. We give you all the praise. Hallelujah. We just worship you. We worship you, Father. We thank you, Father, that no you can to follow us, no man comes out as well, but not in the mighty name of you, Father. We thank you, Father. The end of God come now, our body is trusted, Father, right now. We thank you in the name of Jesus. We just have the word of God. In the, in the house tonight, but not in Jesus' name. Holy Ghost, have your way. We lift up a mighty move of God in the house this morning. Father, we lift up all of you. We lift up all right now, Father, in the name of Jesus. We speak your best of all right now, Father. We call them best when they come, best when they go. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father. We give you all the praise and we give you all the glory, Father. So we thank you, Father, for that. Yes, yes, yes. 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 Yes, yes
for the temple of the Congress. We're used to right now. But I'm next to right now, Father. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father. We choose all the praise and all the glory. We thank you, Father, for what you want to do in this earth today, Father. You stand there and bring me right now, Father. We thank you right now, Father. We're going to go trust in this place, in this house, right now. We give you all the glory. We thank you, Lord. We praise your name, Lord. You are worthy to be praised, Father. And you will be saved and be moved and be out of our peace. Hallelujah, love. We thank you right now, Father. Those who are trying to follow us right now, Father. We just believe that you are being the right and proper right now, Father. Right out of church right now, Father. In Jesus' name, Father. Say this time against you right now. The blood is against you. Your blood is against you. The victory is all the day. Everything's all day. We're going to do it right now, Father. Now we love you, Lord. We give you glory. We give you praise, Father. We thank you right now, Father. In Jesus' name. Amen, amen, amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah.
He's my everything. There's nothing I can do without him. But through him, I can do all things. Through him, you can do all things. I want you to just encourage yourself right quick. This ain't even in the spirit. Hallelujah. But I just want you to say, I can do this. Hallelujah, I can do this. You might be here. This is a tough spot right now. We all standing in, but you just got to remind yourself that the word of God said that I can do, not might. Hallelujah, I can do all things. Amen. And that all things is everything that God needs you to do. Guess what? You can do it. Now, after I explain what that means, I need somebody to shout, I can do this. I can do it. Call him a liar. Can yes, you shout the devil is a liar? Yes, I can do this. Yes, Hallelujah. And I can't do it because of nothing of myself, brother William. It's all because he is my everything. Yes, amen. amen. God is yes. my everything. I'm just I'm just delighted today. Amen. We have more of our church with us today. Amen. More of our family members with us today. Amen. We're strategically allowing ourselves space to re-enter the sanctuary, amen, in a safe manner, amen. So, for now, it's small groups, amen, but God still gets the glory. We still got family online that's watching us, amen. God still gets the glory, amen. Amen, amen, amen. So, let's move to the word today, amen. I'm just, I'm glad to see all y'all today. Some of y'all ain't been this close to you in a while, amen. Amen. But I thank God we're here today. Amen. We're safe and sanitized and deep Amen. 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 So we're going to call your attention to Psalms, the 34th edition. Psalms 34. Amen. Psalms 34. I'm going to read the first eight verses. The emphasis is going to be on the eighth verse. Amen. If you find that Psalm 34, please stand with us if we are reading the word of God. Hallelujah. I need y'all to say this with me for some birth today. We got voices in here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, get your Bibles in your hands. Let's declare what we declare. I hold in my hands. The word of God. God's word is light. God's word is spirit. God's word is power. To everyone that believes. I'm a believer. I'm a believer. I am a believer. And God's word works if I work. Psalms 34, starting at verse 1, I'm reading out the New King James. It says, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make its boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear of it and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me, and let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord, and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. They looked to him and were radiant, and their faces were not ashamed. This poor man cried out, and the Lord heard him and saved him out of all his troubles. The angel of the Lord encamps around all those who fear him and delivers them. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man who trusts in him. Can you turn to your neighbor and tell your neighbor, neighbor, neighbor. God is good. God is good. Amen. Father, we thank you for your word today. We thank you, God, for this time and space you've given us, Lord God, to praise your name, to worship you, Lord God, in the beauty of holiness, thy presence, God. We, we thank you, Lord God, for allowing those that are here today to gather. Father, you said that whether two or three touch and agreeing on anything, there you are also in the midst. We are here. And we are in agreement, Lord God, that we need a mighty move of your spirit by your word in our lives, in this nation, in this world, in the name of Jesus. So as we agree, God, we ask you to move in the name of Jesus, by your power, by your spirit, by your promises, Lord God, that you have made to your children. And Father, help us to remember everything that you said, every promise that you've made in Christ, a yea and amen. So, Father, we receive this word today already with thanksgiving. We acknowledge before you even now, Lord God, our sin and yet our sinfulness. 
But we also acknowledge, Lord God, your grace and your mercy, which is renewed to us every single day. You love us, Lord God, greater than any thought that we could ever have. And for that, God, we say thank you. Thank you for your goodness. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your kindness. Thank you for your grace. We are blessed because you have blessed us. And now, Lord God, let this word penetrate our hearts and our minds, Lord God, that it will change our outlook, that it will shape our minds and our hearts, it will infect our words with glory and positivity and truth out of your word. We thank you, God. We give you glory. We give you honor and praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God bless you. You may be seated. God is good. Now, I, I find it necessary to let you know that that middle word is, is a present tense word. Amen? Anytime you say you see is, that's going on right now. Amen? That's not was. That's is. God is good. And I find myself uh, having to remind myself of that a whole lot more. Amen. In this season we're in right now. I, I've had to remind myself almost on a daily basis that God is good. Amen. Even when it don't appear to be. <laughs> Even when it seems like he got his finger in his ears. Amen. And he ain't hearing your cry. God is good. And we and I love, I love how, how we, we we without hesitation. Will somebody say, God is good? And all the time? God is good without hesitation. And, 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 and to me, you know, it's not just something that we say because somebody else say it. It's the truth. Amen. Amen. It's the truth. God is good all the time. And all the time, God is good. Amen. The opening of this passage of the scripture. Amen. It's a testament to that phrase. But David said, I will bless the Lord at all times. He said, God is worthy of blessings all the time. Why? Because God is good all the time. He said, and his praise shall continually be in my mouth. And you can find yourself very easily complaining more than you pray. But let me help you say something. Let me help, let me help you gather this. In the spirit realm, complaining don't get you nowhere. Come on. Come on. You might be able to call customer service if you bought a product that's not performing up the specification. You know, you may be able to go to the Walmart customer service if if uh if an associate has mistreated you or spoke to you harshly. Uh -huh. There's a complaint department that you can go to and you can say, you know, I, I'm not pleased with this, that, and other. But it's not like that in the spirit. Come on. Yeah. Your complaint don't get you nowhere. Jesus. That's why the Bible tells us to do all things without murmurings or disputings or complaints. It's better for you instead of complaining to pray. Amen. Amen. It's better for you to do that. So David, we know David's life was not a life of, of all roses and days. And soft, fluffy grass. You know what I'm saying? David had some Santa Spurs in his life. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He had some Santa Spurs in his life. You know what it's like when Hallelujah, when you when you somewhere and you don't know you got a Santa Spur. Come on. And then you reach down on your pants leg or your shoe string or whatever. <laughs> and you catch hold that Santa Spur. David had some Santa Spurs Come on. in his life. Anybody has some Santa Spurs in their life? Hallelujah. Okay, they'll cause you to bleed if you catch it wrong. Right. But in all of that, he said, I will bless the Lord at all times. He said, my soul shall make her boast in the Lord. Now, before we go further, I, 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 I feel the need to clarify uh, something about the term Lord. Okay? He said, I will bless the Lord at all times. Right? Here's the thing about Lord. Lord is not someone or something. Lord is a status. Hear me when I say that. Because you have the Lord God and you have the Lord Jesus. Lord is someone that has power, authority, or influence. He said, I will bless the Lord, my God, right? And, and I will give him praise continually. 
See, Lord is not his name. God is his name. Yahweh is his name. Amen. Amen? Jehovah is his name. Lord is who he is. Amen. Lord is what he is. It's the description of him. From this, I have you to know that we have the Lord God who is the Father and creator of all. And then we have the Lord Jesus who's God himself manifest in the flesh. This is the Lord, his God, whom David is declaring that he is going to bless or pronounce words of favor or gratitude towards his God. Anybody grateful to God? Can you bless his name? Hallelujah. Because you're blessed with him. Can you tell the Lord I thank you? Hallelujah. Express gratitude. And he declared that he would bless him at all time or all the time. That's why when we say God is good all the time, all the time God is good, it's not just cliche. We can say that, but can you bless him at all times? David recalled how God had been, uh, how good God had been to him in delivering him from the clutches of Saul. Now, let me tell you this historically because we know that David would one day replace Saul, who he served. And from the moment that the anointing of God came on David to be king, there was a separation between God and Saul, hallelujah, and because David was going to one day replace him. But here's the thing, David, uh, Saul, even though he was messed up, he was still the Lord's anointing. Yeah, that's right. He was still the Lord's anointing. Okay, because, because Saul knew of this, he eyed David, or he despised David yeah, to the yeah, point yeah. to where he sought out to kill him. Hallelujah, but, but if, if, if I can say it this way, there was an arrest warrant that was, that was issued for David. Yeah. Hallelujah, but, but God made sure that who he had chosen will come through yeah. at the appointed time. Come on. David was hiding and came for the Lord, used the spider web, yeah. hallelujah, to conceal yeah. him there because he was anointed and appointed for a particular time. Come on. So come God on. used the spider web when he was in a cave to hide him from his enemy. That's why David was so grateful to God. That's why David said, I'm going to bless God because he hid me when my enemy was out to get me. He was on Saul's extermination list. He was on his hit list. But when David considered the goodness of God, he cried out in adoration. He said, oh, magnify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name together. In that one sentence, there are two words about making big. Magnify means to make large. Exalt means to lift up. He said, let's make God big and let's lift him up. Now, hallelujah, let's magnify him. Let's make his name bigger than our issues. Let's make his name, hallelujah, bigger than the politicians. Let's make his name bigger than COVID. Let's make his name bigger than cancer. Let's make his name bigger than diabetes. Let's make his name bigger than AIDS, hallelujah. Let's make his name bigger than anything that we are afraid of right now. Magnify, may be the Lord with me, and let's lift his name together. That's good. when we realize that we are the recipients of God's goodness, we should take time to praise Him. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm telling you when, you, when you sit back, hallelujah, just for a moment and think of how God has performed wonders in your life, hallelujah, how, how it, everybody but God, including yourself, counted you out and you still came out of that thing unscathed, you ought to find reason and all of that to say, Lord, David praised God for what he had done and for what, who he was to him. Psalms 50 and 14 teaches us, it says, Offer unto God thanksgiving. <laughs> Hebrews 13 and 15 says, By him, therefore, let us offer the sacrifice of praise to God continually. That is the fruit of our lips, giving thanks unto his name. Can you say God is good? Hallelujah. And there's so much that's wrapped up in those three words. God is good. So David praised God for what he had done and for who he was to him. Amen. David knew this, that God was good, so he invited the reader. Hallelujah. And I'm encouraging you and us today. Hallelujah. He said, oh, taste and see. Uh -huh. Come, taste and see that the Lord is good. All the time, and all the time, God is good. Realize this, that out of all of our senses, 
the sense of touch, the sense of smell, the sense of hearing, uh, uh, and, 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 the, and, the, and the feel and all of that stuff of the senses that we have. You notice that all of those things, they have to they have an outward sensitivity. Yes. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You hear something, you, you, you taste something, uh, you, you touch something, you smell something, but when you taste something, it has to touch your tongue. It has to go in your mouth in order for that sense to work. Follow me. Tasting happens on the inside. Come on. Huh? Tasting happens on the inside. Do you have him on the inside? David said, oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. To taste something, you have to partake of it on the inside. Do you have him on the inside? You see, I know you've seen some stuff of him. I know you've heard some stuff of him. I know you've felt some stuff that he's done when he's, he's healed your body or when the presence of the anointing comes on you and it chills your whole body. Hallelujah. Uh, but have you tasted him? Have you tried him for yourself? Do you have the Lord on the inside? Hallelujah. Has he made it on the inside for you to know that he's good? David said, hallelujah, after he said, magnify the Lord with me and let's exalt his name together. He said, in order for you to do that, you've got to get a taste. Yeah, hallelujah. In order for you to be able to magnify the Lord, in order for you to be able to bless him at all times, you've got to have a taste. Yeah, yeah. Anybody ever taste it? Hallelujah. Yeah. Anybody ever had a taste? Hallelujah. The power and the spirit of God. Anybody ever a taste? Hallelujah, when you sit there and you don't know why, but your hand just go up out of gratitude. Oh, taste and see because when he's in you, something's got to come out. Come Hallelujah. And you can testify that God is good. Amen. Have you experienced God fully? <clears throat> Hallelujah. Yes. You experience God fully. You know, you can smell stuff sometimes and you can imagine what it tastes like. Come on, come on. <laughs> but you can't taste it till you taste it. Come on, Pastor, help us. I'm going to hang out there for just about two minutes. Come on. You can imagine from the smell what something might taste like. I, I, in the kitchen this morning, I, I walked by and it sure could, and I'm like, boy, that show sure smelled good. I said it to myself, but I, I couldn't taste it. But I could imagine it was good by smell. Can you use your imagination in this thing? Come on. In order for you to see that God is good, Amen. you got to taste yes. for yourself. And when you experience God fully, you can testify in whatever season you're going through in your life that God is good. Yes. I'm telling you right now, I taste it. And I know that he's good. I know him for myself. And I, I see now what the older saints used to tell us, baby, you got to know the Lord for yourself. Come on. Hallelujah. Because at the end of the day, sometimes you can't reach your prayer partner. Sometimes the church door might be locked. Hallelujah. You got to know him for yourself to stand up in a world of trouble and declare that God is good. I need somebody to shout, he's good, he's good. He's good. I'm telling you, I don't taste it. And you know what the sad part is? Some folk have been in church all their life. Come on. They never experienced God in place. Because we go through an order of service. That's right. You know, we go through a program to the chief. Right. We have our set way, hallelujah, to do things, and God is wanting to do what he's going to do in the very beginning, and you done pushed him all the way to the end. You know what I'm saying? What am I saying about that? Religion don't give us a taste. Right. It's relationship that causes us to taste and see that the Lord is good. I'm talking about good right now. Come on. He's good right now. David had seen the goodness of the Lord. And it was that goodness that led him to say in a song that he wrote to the Lord, he said, I would have faith.
fainted unless I had lived right. to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. David was saying, my prior experience of the goodness of God is the only reason why I didn't die out when the enemy tried to take me out. The only reason I didn't quit in my trouble, hallelujah, is because I knew beyond a shadow of a doubt that my God is good. I've seen how good God's been before this pandemic. I gave him praise. Come on. I've seen how good God has been during this pandemic. I'm giving him praise. And I believe that he's not going to pray. He's going to be good when we come out of this. And I'm preparing my best praise to give him my best glory in the end of all of this. God is good. Hallelujah. I believe that we're coming out. <laughs> And we're coming out in the hands of a God who's been good while we were right. And somebody shout, God, he's good. God is good. Here's, here's the thing about good. When you're good, you become deserving. Mm. Come on, Jesus. Right? Come on, come on. We raise kids and we tell our babies, if you be good for mom, if you be good for dad, Jesus. I'm going to give you this. I take you to get ice cream. Or I take you to get a toy. Right? Help us, help us. We let them know that there are benefits yes. for goodness. Okay. Right? And so they would say, what shall I render or what shall I give unto the Lord for all of his benefits towards me? Amen. Because God has been good to me, I need to give him something. That's why he said, I'm going to bless the Lord because he is good to me. Hallelujah. When you're good, you become deserving. I need to know that our God is deserving. He, he's deserving of all the praise. He's deserving of all the glory. Hallelujah. That's why he said, I'll bless him at all times. Because he's always deserving. Uh, because my situation and how it pans out does not change who God is. Let me say that again. My situation and how it pans out does not change who God is. Because some stuff you and I are going to ask for God is going to say no, but God is still good. Some stuff we're going to stand and pay for, believing in ourselves that that's what God wants. But then they're going to tell us that it's not my will for your life because the Bible says if you ask according to my will, then you will have it. So even when his will is not what you will, God is still good. I hope I'm helping somebody today. I'm helping myself, hallelujah, because I wish everything was like I wanted it to be. But because of that, I'm going to call him good even more. Hallelujah. Yeah, I'm going to call him good all the more. Hallelujah. I'm going to say it till I convince myself. I'm going to say it till I trick the enemy, hallelujah, to let him know that even in the middle of this, I'm going to stand tall and say, God is good. Amen. Hallelujah. hallelujah. And he's always good when I'm up. Yes, hallelujah. He's good when I'm down. Yes. Hallelujah. He's good when I have. Hallelujah. And he's yeah. good when I don't think. Have because there's never a situation when I don't actually have, it's when I don't think I have. But so when I look to the Lord, I come to understand that the earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof. And it comes to let me know that David said, I've been young and I'm old, never have I seen the righteous forsaken or his seed begging bread. It only looks like, hallelujah, I don't have. But if I say God is good in the middle of what I'm thinking, the realization of the word comes to me and let me know, Robert, I'm still here. I got you in your family, and nothing shall about me because I'm still good. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's good when I'm in peace, and he's good when I got confusion. Hallelujah. He's good when I'm skating on. You know, 
Sometimes we get fancy scared to go to backstage. <laughs> he's good when I'm standing alone. Come on, come on. And he's good when I'm struggling to hold up. Come on, Pastor. Help me hold up. Because see, you got to learn how to praise God regardless of the condition that's going on in or around you. Come on. So even when you slide in good yeah. and when you struggle to hold on, God is still good. Yeah, yeah he's always good. He's always good, so he's always worthy. Mm. Worthy to receive glory. Worthy to receive honor. Our acknowledgement of God's goodness is a testimony of our experience with him. In other words, we are not primarily talking about what he's done for others. But, but when I shout God is good, I'm talking to you about first-hand experience that I've had with him. I'm talking to you about what I've seen him do in my life and in my family's life. You know, it's good to say what God has done for others. Hallelujah. But when I shout God is good, I'm, I'm looking back on what he's done in my life. I'm, I'm looking at all the doors he's opened in the way he's made for me. That's why you can't make me doubt him. I know too much about him. God is good. That's why that first-hand experience of the goodness of God was one reason David said, I will bless him at all times. And he said his praise will continually be in my mouth. I tell you today, as I get ready to shut this thing down, that God is good. And I try to help for myself. I had a mama that served the Lord, but she couldn't tell me how good the Lord was. I had a daddy, hallelujah, that served the Lord, but he couldn't tell me how good God was. Uh, my grandmother was an elect mother in the church, but she couldn't tell me how good God was. I had to try him for myself. I had to taste and see for myself. Because sometimes when you're going through hell in your life, you can't find nobody that can help you through the storm. That's why when you taste and see and know the Lord for yourself, even in the valley of hell, you can say, God, He is, He is good. And you're not saying that as a lie. Even when he said no to me, he's still good. Even when the door don't open, he's still good. Even when what I wanted don't work out, he's still good. Just I have somebody in hell that can speak beyond your circumstances and situations that can bring you beyond what you're feeling in your emotions and say, God, I believe that. That you're still good. Hallelujah. Now when I look at the definition of the word good, I can see God all the way through. Because God is a favorable character. God is good. God is virtuous. He's of the highest of standards. God is the right, which means he's just and a fair God. God is commendable, which means that he's deserving of praise. Are y'all going to help me preach it here? God is kind, which means he has a friendly and generous nature. And he's considered. God is so considered. He said, come to me, all of you that will. He ain't going to force himself. But he said, if you come, come to me. All the labor and heavy labor, I'll give you rest. If you're looking for rest, it's in your good God. If you're looking for peace, it's in our good God. If you're looking for joy, it's in our good God. And you tell the Lord, thank you. And then he goes on to say, God 
He always got room for your presence. He always got room for you to bless him. He always got room to receive glory and honor and praise. Hallelujah. He's always got room. Change your posture before God. Stop going like this all the time. Turn them hands over and lift them up. And say, God, you're so good. For the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting. And his truth endures to all generations. For the Lord is good. Hallelujah. David said, taste and see that the Lord is good. Hallelujah. He is good right now. Despite how we've been looking for him and like we can't see him. So it ain't about the sight anyway. That sense, that ain't the sense that we're looking for. <laughs> uh, we we talk about I can't feel it. It, it ain't about a feeling, huh? It's about faith. And when you got faith, hallelujah, you can just taste it, see, that the Lord is good. And then you'll change your vocabulary from nobody knows the trouble I see to God is good. Stand up and back and the Lord with you. Let's exalt his name together. Hallelujah. 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 Be magnified to God. Father, we thank you for your goodness. We thank you, God, for your mercy. We thank you for your grace. Because we understand, Lord God, that we are not worthy. Hallelujah. But you love us anyway. You bless us anyway. You keep us anyway. You give to us anyway. You supply our needs anyway. You heal us anyway. You protect us anyway. And for God, for that, we give you glory. In spite of us, you love us. I know it's you bless us. Glory. Hallelujah. I thank you, God. Glory. Thank you for being good, God. Thank you, Lord God. Because God, sometimes we can't see your hand. But Lord, we can always trust your heart. Hallelujah. To know that because you're good, you will withhold no good thing from those that love you. Because you're good, you cause all things to work together for our good. Even when we're not good. I thank you, Holy Father. Just being God. Thankful that you're not like us. We get caught up in our emotions. We start listening to every wind, the doctrine, everything that other folks say about us as it pertains to you. And Lord God, you just remain faithful to your word. And God, we thank you for that. God, you're so good. You're so good. So thankful, Lord God, that we can taste and see. Have you on the inside and have revelation of who you are. Hallelujah. Have your word revealed to us, God. So thankful that we can, hallelujah, receive you and then perceive you. Hallelujah, as God. Thank you right now. I pray, Lord God, for everyone that's listening right now, that their hearts and their minds be encouraged to declare you as good even in the midst of the bad. To declare you as good, Lord God, even when they're still trying to convince themselves that it's going to work out. I speak to that one right now that's listening, Lord God, that in all the verge of turning back. Hallelujah, that thy spirit will be a glue in the name of Jesus. Hold them to you right now in the name of Jesus, Lord God. Hold them to you right now. Hold them close to you, Lord God. Remind them, Lord God, that you haven't left them. That you have not forsaken him. Restore unto them the joy of salvation in the name of Jesus. That they can stand right in the midst of whatever they're going through and declare your goodness. 
declare your power, declare your mercy. Now, Lord God, as we prepare to partake of the Lord's Supper today, I pray that as it intends, that it be received, Lord God, for our salvation and for our healing. Not as some ritual we do this, but because of our word and declare. When we do, we show what remembers of you. Bless us all now. And our hearts and our minds are open and ready to receive what you will have for us now. In the name of Jesus. And God, because you're good, you'll make us good. We thank you right now. As your children, the sheep of your pasture, we'll bless you at all times. We'll praise you continually. We'll taste, we'll see, and we'll declare that you are good. We'll be glory, we'll be honored, we give you praise. Somebody shout in Jesus' name. Amen. You can prepare yourself the communion you received as you enter the sanctuary.
pick it up for yourself. You know, they say one thing I say, you want some one thing about the Holy Ghost. You can't pray, but you know what you got. So you got to take God for yourself. Amen. If you're out there today and you have to take God for yourself, that He is good, that He's King of King and Lord of the Lord, you got to take it for yourself. If you're out there today and you have you don't know that as your proper Savior, and that's your Lord, that's your Savior, the day is the day of salvation. He said, hey, and he will be given to you. He said, that was the devil's heart and believe the heart that God raised you from the dead. That shall be saved. So, so if you're out there today and you have to receive them, just keep your words up to me. Dear Lord, Lord Jesus, I'm a sinner. I repent of my sins. I accept you as my Lord and Savior. If you say that for the first time, you are saved. Yes, Amen. Amen. So we thank God for that message. You know, I mean, that was a great message, you know. So we just take, take hold of that message, you know, and for ourselves, we can take it to the Lord is good. So we thank y'all for coming out today. We, uh, I'm so glad to see y'all today. I'm so glad to be here. Uh, lift y'all face to face. And y'all have Facebook fans out there. We thank y'all for tuning in. We tell y'all back next week at this same time. And we welcome y'all and we thank y'all for special support our ministry. Give it to us. You know, and when the Bible says you give, it shall be given to you. I believe that you give it to us good words. And when you give it to us good words, but that's why I'm always saying, you know, your words are with that gift. The Bible says give and it shall be given to you. Right. See, that, that was all for the case. See, the word Lord means owner. Amen. He is Lord of Lord. He owns all things. He owns all the money that you give him. He is giving you so he's not giving. Put bread to the so I get bread to eat them. And feed to the soul. So God give you seed, but you sow, he can get back to you. You know, so he owns that thing. You own that. That's why I came on Lord. Lord of the Lord. And came on King. So I just want to thank y'all today, but I just want to stop this thing for you to be the Lord. Amen. Amen. Tell me, Father, just thank God for your word today, Father. As you heard that word today, Father.